I'm fixing to head into the Brick and Spoon to eat. I don't know anything about this place, but yet. But I'm gonna find out, and I'm definitely gonna find out how it tastes, which is the main thing, of course. Really like the water in the mason jar. I, yeah, that's a kind of neat, novel thing. Kind of a neat thing, too. You can make your own Bloody Mary. Right down to the temperature. Checking out your menu. Decided on the bananas and pajamas, or pajamas, whatever you say. Super clean, home looking little place to be here. There's a lot of mimosas apparently, so that's pretty cool. I really love the look of the bananas and pajamas. Pajamas, I guess, to make it more rhyming. Chocolate sauce. Oh my gosh, it's so good. I can't wait to tear into it. It's not much when you tear into them. Of course, you dip it in the sauce, but. It's cheap, but for that kind of quality, yeah. I can swing 10 bucks. It's kind of located in this strip mall type thing where in brick, and it's hard to find. To, to, to some, I won't say hard to find, but it's not the most obvious thing out there. There's about 10 stores here, so. But I will say also, it appears to be the busiest, and it does have outdoor seating for this warm, wonderful Alabama weather. Anyway, hope you like this video. All right, to wrap it up, that was great food. The atmosphere's okay. The service is pretty good, and um, I can't I have no complaints. It's a good place to go. Look like most people were still having breakfast just like me, and it's about 11.30, so I'm assuming it's more known for breakfast than lunch, but, you know, it might just may just been the weird time of day it is. I did find out that this Brick and Spoon has 11 locations in five different states, so it's kind of a little spread out. There's mostly in Alabama, but they got a location or two in Texas, Mississippi, Florida, and then Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, believe it or not. Mole stomping grounds. So, give it a thumbs up. Yes, it's, it's, it's solid. Very, very solid.